This is the solution to quiz three. Okay, we want to factor out the greatest common factor. Okay, so we want a common factor of 98 and 84. So 84, 84 divided by 14, I think, is 6. 98 divided by 14 is 7. Okay, so if we factor out 14, that would be 7, x to 4, y to 3, minus 6, x to 2, y to 4. Then we can factor out powers of x and y. So 14, oops, and then as for the x's, get out two of them, so x squared, and as for the y's we can get out three, so y cubed, then seven, x squared and the y's minus six, no x's, and one y. Okay, and then for part b, 6 is the greatest coefficient, and we can get out 4 b's, because here's 4 and there's 6. So that would be 6 b to 4. And that would be 3 a plus 5 a to negative 2 uh, b squared. And again, <clears throat> now we can pull out either 1a or we can pull out negative 2a's. These are the choices. You always select the smallest. Smallest is negative 2 in this case. So that would be. 6a to negative 2, b to positive 4, 3a to 3, plus 5b to 2. Because when you take out uh, an exponent, you're subtracting. So when we took out b to 4, then there were 0b's here. And when we took out b to 4, there were 2 b's here. So when we're taking away negative 2, we're subtracting negative 2. 1 minus negative 2 is 3. And negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0. So to use only positive exponents, this would be 6 b to 4. 3a cubed plus 5b squared over a squared. So that's part one, question one. <coughs> question two, let's factor. Okay, so we this is not monic. So we want two numbers whose product is 8 times negative 5, which is negative 40. And two numbers whose sum, the same two numbers whose sum is 6. OK. So how about? Uh, negative 4 and positive 10. The sum of those two is 6. Okay. So that means we're going to take the original quadratic, 8x squared, and we're going to split the middle term as minus 4x plus 10x, and then minus 5. 
So we split this middle term into this. Now that we've done that, we can make two groups of two, the first two and the second two. In the first group, I'll factor out 4x, because that's the greatest common factor. So that would be 2x minus 1. And then plus, in the second group, 5 is the greatest common factor, so that would be 2x minus 1. These two are the same. So happy about that. Because that means we can factor out the 2x minus 1 on the right. And the term on the left, the factor on the left is 4x plus 5. This one is monic, so that's terrific. That means it's the easy kind. So can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 72 and whose sum is positive 6? 12 and negative 6. So that would be y plus 12 multiplied by y minus 6. So that would be, yes, so that's it. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> so in this case we need to factor the denominator, so that would be x minus 1 in the numerator, and then the denominator is monic. So can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 48 and whose sum is 2? Yeah, how about 8 and negative 6? So the only two numbers which can cause a problem are negative 8 and positive 6. So the natural domain is all x, except x is negative 8 and x is 6. This we need to factor. So in the numerator, x plus 3. And in the denominator, x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. So now, <clears throat> this part B here is put there as a trap, a bit of a trap, uh, because <clears throat> this expression as it is, you, it's evaluable at all x except x is negative 3 or x is 3. However, some students will be tempted to cancel the x plus 3 over x plus 3. And that cancellation is not legal when you're considering natural domain because if, that, if you were to cancel the x plus 3s, then suddenly the resulting expression could be evaluated at negative 3. But that one cannot. And the question is about this expression here. This expression that was given can't, cannot be evaluated at negative 3, so that cancellation is not legitimate on this exercise. <clears throat>